I'm going to talk about bleach painting with you guys because there's some stuff that I've learned, some stuff that I know about, and some wins and some fails. So I need to share. Howdy, howdy, everyone. This is Clara Lawrence, and I've done a couple of videos recently where I do, have done some bleach painting, and I want to share some successes and some fails. Let's see. Good news, bad news. I don't know. Let's see. Well, first off, let me talk about this much. I am used to dealing with fabrics that are uh, a little tighter weave. Let me show you some. I'm using these for uh, masks and stuff. And this is a, a batik fabric that I use with quilting. And if I can get in here, let me see if I can zoom in. Maybe that'll help. All right, so there's my finger next to it. And you can see it's a pretty tight weave. It's, and it's also a uh, quilting grade, so it's a very strong fabric. Whereas this, let's see if I can get in close. This is a t-shirt, so it's a very loose weave. They're both cotton. And it's a very thin, it's, it's a lot thinner. It's a different type of fabric. So that in itself, it's going to behave a little bit differently. And to be honest with you, I haven't done uh, bleach painting on t-shirts until, well, these two guys. So that's all right. All right. So wins. So I did this little guy yesterday on Artapalooza and just got it out of the washing machine and it turned out fabulous. I'm really, really happy with it. Really happy with it. All right, good news. All right, now for the sad, bad news. All right, I'm trying to do this while holding a camera, which is tricky, or my phone, I should say. So, I'm also trying not to give it away. All right, and this is the other one that I did and has been it was washed just as quickly now already maybe you can see the difference let's see if i can get these in a little closer all right so here's like the top of his head and this one they're not the same design there and on top of his head there and if you've noticed the difference I was a little heavier handed with the bleach and did some really stark whites in there, uh, really hot spots whites and the highlights and stuff like that. Whereas here it was like hints of it, but not as strong. I mean, there's a little bit of a strong point there, not too terribly bad. Um, a little bit there, but not too bad. Well. There's the tooth. It's a hole. It's a big old hole. Now bleach, you got to be careful of. You know, it is a pretty strong chemical. And I need to look into some bleach stop uh, chemicals that work really well. I know some of them uh, create a, uh, a bad vapor, a very kind of a toxic, a toxic vapor. So I need to be mindful of that. Um, but I even got a hole in the, the eye there. Oh, sad. I think there's some right there. So I got to work on this a little bit more and figure this out. But I mean, where it's really, really light, not so many problems. Uh, you even got a little bit bits of holes there. So something I need to keep in mind with. This one did pretty good. I didn't get as heavy with that. I mean, that is a little bit of a real bright spot, but it doesn't have any holes. So... <laughs> Learn from me if you can. If you do do bleach painting, um, do it pretty quick. Do it fairly light. Don't go too too overzealous with the white in the bleach. In other words, keep going and keep going until you have a big white patch because it does continue to eat even up to the point of getting water on it. So I will get back to you guys on an appropriate bleach stop. But for now... I'll share my successes and my fails. Sad. I'll just say he kind of bit through the shirt <laughs> for now. Or maybe put a little white patch or a t-shirt behind him. I don't know. 
It's my art shirt. I'm not that worried about it. I'll probably still wear them anyway. It's on the back. But, um, yeah. All right. So hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video up. Later, y'all.